That's a really nice cat, I gotta say. Just wanna... I just wanna give her little pets. Welcome back to Hinge Horror, the series where I play a horror game while messaging dudes on Hinge. Today we will be playing Sarah is Missing. And, um... Oh boy. First, let's take a quick look at the dudes. <laughs> Some guy commented on my picture. Very attractive gal. Apostrophe. I mean, who am I to argue with a man that claims he has standards? What those are? I don't know. I keep coming across like the same exact brand of liberal man. And I, I don't know how to describe it, but like you would know it if you saw it. Just imagine in your mind a liberal man. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Oh god. Sure. Uh. Iris. Okay. Sarah. Sarah Young is the rightful owner of this phone. Return it to her. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. I wish I could, but how? Based on your response, I assume she's not with you? I don't even know her. It seems like the last video she took implies she's in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? Uh, I guess... I don't have a choice anyway, huh? <laughs> uh. I hear footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not hating on that actress, but <laughs> kind of made me giggle. Hmm. This is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. Hmm. Uh, how much can you fix? It appears only 14.3% of this device is operational. Just like my brain. Uh, Sarah looks like she needs help. Yes, it would appear to be so. I don't know what to say. I am this mobile... I am this mobile's personal assistant. Intelligent, recognitive, icon... System Iris. It is in my best interest to locate her, and it would be in your good conscience to help me find her. Um, why do you care? Sure. She is my owner. Ew, I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. Okay. You sound human. Yes. I want. We are wasting precious time here. Will you help me find Sarah? Yes. I need to restore as much of the contents of the phone as I'm able to. Please press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. I believe I can recover some of this phone's data. Would you like me to restore them now? Sure. I'm starting the restore process now. I don't feel good about this at all. <laughs> Remember, you can tap and hold any part of the phone to ask me to help with anything. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. Fun. Iris messages restored. Okay. Mail. Okay. Gallery. Okay, lots, lots happening. Anything. Oh, music. Maybe not as important. Phone. Notes. Okay. 
Uh, as I calculated, mm -hmm. only a minor portion of the phone's contents are available. Okay. What should I do if I find something interesting? You may tap and hold anything. Okay, that's what I figured. I will lend my assistance and look into it. Where should I start? Going through her messages. Okay. Uh. Okay. This is a lot of info. Okay. So this is her ex-boyfriend. Hey there, what do you want? Nothing. I'm just about to board. Why should I care? Well, that's... Well, that's one... The probs, ain't it? You barely care. Oh. Did you text me to tell me that? You're such an asshole. Look, I didn't mean... I definitely didn't want to hurt you. I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is not how I plan things to be. What a lame-o. Bye, Derek. I'll go. Things ended when you left. You left. You and your planning. Jeez. Enough plans. You plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. Ew. Why do you always do this? And you keep blaming my work for our problems. Stop blaming shit or me. And these girls naked or not, they're not our problems. It's me. And you're the one that keeps avoiding this shit, sifting problems here and there. How about I don't feel like listening to your shit right now? Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies. Baby, listen, please. I'm done with you. I can't believe you decided to do this. Not that I celebrate it, but it's Valentine's Day. Who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women on Valentine's? Wow. Well, it's a last minute gig. Let's get that straight. Oh my god. Hey, how are you? Been a while. Talk to me. Where are you up to, baby? Okay, got it, Sarah. Oh, baby. I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. Yikes. Buddy. How was your trip? It was terrible. Why was it terrible? Derek broke up with me. Sorry to hear that. By the way, for you this week? No, I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What about... Do you really want to know, buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing research on the relativity of ghosts to culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations of digital and cyberspace haunt. By the way, are you into butt stuff? I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. No problem, poke you later. Ew. Nice weather today. Could be better. Wind didn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. Can I send you some pics? I don't think so. Ugh. No, I don't think so. It's up my penis. Yes, I figured it's big. I don't really care. Would you like to see it? No. Would you like to sit on it? No. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see yours? I don't have a penis, buddy. Ugh. Ah. Hey, bootylicious, you okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me and some ABS at the club. What is that? Sorry, babe, got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs, like, like, abs, like Tarzan. Ew, who is this person? Sorry, you know, I won't want to miss hanging out with you guys. But some other time, it's ladies' night. Besides, we got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama, you know how the ice cream trips down the abs ew this is really traumatizing somehow it, it's 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 reminding me of like boomer millennial cringe tempting but i'm gonna pass i haven't gone clubbing in years i don't really like ice cream but chocolate love brownies do sound so good celebrating freedom you need a night out to come with me and forget all your troubles i won't force you though i'll have one on your behalf Thanks, I'll catch up with you some other time, and don't do it. Overdo it, watch your calories. Hey, mind your business, Sarah. That's bad, you know that they love my love handles, them puppies, wild love. What is this? Who talks like this? Hey, where have you been? Why didn't you reply me? I texted you last night, I heard you went out with Faith. Why didn't you call me? I'm always last to know. Let's get coffee, I met someone. 
you there? Call me. I'm worried. You're not normally like this. So she seems very innocent. Uh, hi, Mom. Just wanted to check in. Derek and I have decided to end things. Things were not working out, so... But I'm okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah, but I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? I can have my driver pick you up from the airport. Ooh, fancy. Right. Well, Mom, actually, don't panic. I decided to stay. Sarah, I don't understand. You've just come out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, Mom. Being at home now, just, I can't. What do you mean you can't? You get on the plane and come home. Mom, no, I can't. I've canceled the flight tickets already anyway. Why in the world would you do something so stupid as that, Sarah? Jeez, Mom, listen. Sarah, you come home this instant. I will get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right now. Mom, no, I'm not coming home and that's final. At least not yet. I don't expect you to understand, but see you when I get back, okay? Hi, Mom. Just to let you know I've touched down. Walking to immigration now. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. Got delayed. Sorry, I couldn't send you a text. I've got to go into a meeting now. The driver's waiting for you. Okay, see you soon. We'll be back late. We'll talk to you when I come home, okay? I've scheduled for you to meet with the executive creative director of Lloyd Irving, the advertising agency, at noon, Mom. At noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. Mom, I have a seminar to go to, and we've talked about this already. I'm not changing my major, and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. Mom, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're really going to pick your silly research on ghosts, of all things, over possibly working in a top agency? I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've left, let it go on for too long. I only wanted to help you build a promising career, not throw it all away to just be a ghost hunter. Oh, Mom, first of all, stop calling it ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. And secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. And I hope you can understand that. Dad would understand. Wowzers. You know the only reason why you can go on and do all that nonsense is because I allow it. I'm trying to make sure you have a future, at the very least, a good paying job. Or a job that pays anything. How are you going to pay the bills with this kind of career path? The only reason you can do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying for all your expenses. You've lived a pretty comfortable life and a spoiled one at that. I've given you nothing but the best and all I've asked from you is you go to this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And for your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it if you become like him. Okay, mom. Going in for a meeting, I'll be home early. You'll have dinner at home. We'll talk further on this. Woof. Okay. What are you up to this weekend? Swamped with work. Why? I need a favor. You always need a favor. What's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party? Yeah. I'm not really up for it. But it's your sort of thing, too. What do you mean? It's some the witch's feast. How is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, all right? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all this supernatural stuff too. Yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your coven initiations again, Faith. Oh, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only real one around here. Just some guys playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween, hello? I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Just ask me again tomorrow or something. Okay. <sighs> That was so much. Faith and Aya's messages. Yeah, I agree. Sarah's actions, it's unusual. How do you know what is unusual? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices she makes in her daily life, I can simulate and deduce her actions or inactions in this, in this situation does not match her past behavior. What is Sarah like usually? Her recent behavior shows she's suffering, suffering from abrupt and apparently unaccountable change of moods, possibly due to her relationship issue. But I'm no doctor. <laughs> I agree with you. And now Faith. What is that? Is one of the Dutch and German names for the night of 
April 30th. Well, <laughs> so-called because it is the eve of the feast day of St. Walpurga, an 8th century abbess in France. France, yeah? is believed to be the night of a witch's meeting. Why would Sarah be involved in this? It appears Faith is practicing Wiccan. What does Sarah believe in? Sarah believes in finding the truth. Okay. I think there might be more clues in her whereabouts if we look through her pictures. Would you kindly tap and hold on the gallery icon, okay? Please wait while I find what's wrong. I'm gonna get jump scared in like three seconds. Sarah's kept it locked. You'll need the passcode. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Ah. Probably male. Yeah, I thought so. Oh my god, it's her birthday too? Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, so... How? 14.02? There we go. Uh... Strange photo in the gallery. Take a closer look at it. It seems this photo correlates with a video on message that Sarah has recently deleted. Yes. I'm not excited. What are you up to? Busy? I remembered if you wanted- you told me you wanted to start a blog, right? About our ghost and curse research? I got something for you if you're interested. Better be good. There's this thing called the Red Room. He Mordor. There have been reports of people dying through weird circumstances, like after checking out the weird website, you answer some stuff and then bam. So yeah, they say you visit the site, your computer will start freaking out, pop-ups, and the visitor will go insane. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Uh... What's wrong? My controls are malfunctioning. Okay, cool. The Red Room is connected with the cults. What cults? The cult is connected to the curse. Iris, you're losing me. I found another message that was recently deleted that might hold some clues I was able to restore for you. Would you kindly take a look at it in the Isru text thread? Okay. To Sarah, I'm... Erizu, I received your contact from Faith. She told me you're coming to our party, a special gathering. Hey, Erizu. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her here. What's going on? I apologize, but reception here is terrible. And besides, we have a rule. No mobile phones allowed. I'm here to escort you safely. Yes, my dear. It's hard to navigate in the dark alone. It's part of our experience. Can I talk to Faith? No, you may not. I apologize, but like I said, phones are not allowed. She's safe here. Pro there are probably drunks already. Drunk? Sarah doesn't get drunk. How do I know you're really your friend? I've known her since high school. I don't think she's ever mentioned you. It's not good. It's not good. I keep a low profile. I'm not sure about this. I think I'll leave. Leave? Sure you just. Why? I am almost there. Faith will be disappointed that you didn't show up. She has made reservations. Almost where? To where you are. How do you know where I am? Faith told me she was meeting you here. I'd prefer if you didn't come here, please. I'm almost there. Please stop wherever you are. Do not worry. You're safe. I'm going to bring you. Please pick up. Sarah? Sarah, where are you? Can, can you hear me? Sarah, I'm at the cult site. Sarah! Hold on. 
Sarah. I have bad news for you, Jamie Amy. Oh, okay, great, great, great. I'm not Sarah. What? Who are you? Just someone trying to help you find Sarah. I guess I have to trust you. We'll get back to who you are later. Here, check this out. What the hell is this? Yes, those who are trying to prepare themselves for entry into... Uh, <laughs> hey James, what does this mean? What am I looking at? What do you mean? Didn't you get the email I sent you yesterday? I'm here where the party is supposed to be. Oh, should I see them? Oh my god. Uh, who? No, they didn't. Oh, God. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Animal and or human sacrifice any age. Cannot touch her curse binding. The curse is particularly for people who have done harm in the past and have already been known to be a potential threat. Keep that person from speaking or approaching and make them feel watched and judged. My name is Irzu. I'm one of the, how do you say, leaders for tonight's ceremony. We've met on a very unfortunate night. On a very fortunate night, cherish this moment, my stranger friend. Please do not misunderstand my intentions. 
then why? I do not kill. Mm. That man was anything but poor. He was a deceiver. How so? What did he do? What? What quest? What is this? Where are my manners? I've told you my name, but not what I do. I fear my age is somewhat dulled. These simple ta small talk. It doesn't matter what I do, but it's a but what's important for you to know is that you, like everyone else, have a choice. What choice? Just tell me. Ugh, I'm gonna get the worst ending. Would you like to join us? I believe you have the potential. No. Sarah or Faith, their names mean nothing to you but to us. They are what binds them to this flesh and mud. Say one of their names and know it will be their last breath. There is no sweeter invite than a last breath to welcome you. I love this. This is... Why me? How did I get this phone? Like, what is... I hate this. <sighs> it's a tough choice. But it had to be done. Sarah means too much to me. Bitch, it hurts to see Faith go. Sarah knew Faith for the longest time. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone to die. Life hurts a lot more than death. Then why did you care if s you're ma not making sense? At least Sarah's okay. We need to find her quick. Okay. What? All will be revealed in due time, but not this instant. Any last words? Pardon me? I would like an explanation. So I- I died? Like, that was- How did- Did Iris- Oh my god, is Iris just as- Iris is just Siri rearranged? That's so annoying. Uh, but not. It's like- That was interesting. I feel- I do feel empty. I should have chosen that choice. Oh boy.
Didn't have a lot of time for dudes in this episode because I was too busy uh, being engrossed in, you know, a story. I mean, I, I liked it, but also like, so she got involved in that cult because of her friend, right? And then they were going to do, you know, human sacrifice. And then they involved me for some reason. Like, I don't, what was that about? Did I miss something in James's email? Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next video. Bye.